So a sorry high command passes along that they're having a problem in one of their colonies. Other than that, they're being pretty, pretty vague. They don't want to volunteer much, but they certainly are quick to ask for favors. They can't seem to get it through their thick tentacles that everyone needs help right now. Not just humanity. You know, if it was just humanity that needed help right now, we'd probably never get it. But that the whole galaxy is at stake and that working together is the only way to solve this, it's really taking a lot for these people to grasp that small bit of common sense. And it's, um, well, after all this is said and done, assuming they're still alive, they really need to be embarrassed of themselves. I mean, seriously. So I'm really having to jump through hoops just to get the basic stuff done. The whole time the Reapers are at our heels. Any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. We don't need something that dangerous running around during a war. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. Find out soon enough. Ardat Yakshi. What would the Reapers want with them? Go figure. This will be finding out here shortly. Well, the place seems pretty quiet. The shuttle is warm. Recently used. Although somebody's here. Before us. I wonder. The Ardat Yakshi being kind of an anomaly Elevated among the Asari. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Seeing as the Asari kind of interact with others the same way the Reapers do, essentially. They have this whole mental thing going on where they dig all off into your psyche and stuff like that. Um, I wonder if there's not an open door there for... What the hell was that? That sound. There's more than one out there. Yeah, I don't think I really want to meet whatever's doing that. But so I'm wondering if there's kind of an open door there for the Reapers to have maybe... Um trigger that anomaly somehow where every once in a while hear something. Stay sharp. And our dot Yakshi pops up. Uh, all of Morinth's children were. That's strange. There's gotta be something to that. Something. That was my fault, sorry. Some kind of significance to that, I would think. Galay's electronic signature. Hmm. Alright, that means a bonus from Glyph. When we get back to the Normandy. All is quiet and the lights are out except for that screechy sound. Delay. You won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Brings us study work. Reel is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there, Pope. And delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be here to get away, but it sounds to me like uh Breaking the rules. Breaking the rules sounds a very dangerous thing to do here. It would seem the Asari commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? 
A floor plan, marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The Commandos decided to purge this place. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. So far we haven't seen any Asari Reapers. Come to think of it. I wonder if they're immune to the indoctrination and conversion thing that goes on, the mutation stuff. Turians obviously aren't. Humans certainly aren't. They turn us to husks with a quickness. In fact, we seem to be the most common foot soldiers that the Reapers have. That's been going on for a while. Going all the way back to Mass Effect 1 times, you know? So, what would an Asari Reaper look like? Students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters, meet in rooms unsupervised. Well, it sounds to me like one of the Asari here had a plan, and in smuggling in something, Vinya or whatever, that's an artist that Morinth was really into. Apparently, that particular artist appeals to Ardat Yakshi, I guess. But um, smuggling things in means that you have contact with the outside, and that can't end well. Not for a reclusive monastery type place like this. Where the whole point is to keep these abominations isolated. This place is actually beautiful. If the Asari had an anti-type amongst people here in the world, you know, I wonder if, if you could relate certain races or cultures to some of the species in Mass Effect, some of the characteristics and stuff that are commonly shared. I wonder if the Asari would be maybe Japanese? At least in part. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned. Even as our galaxy crumbles. Find your daughters fast. I'm setting off a bomb the commandos brought here. The Justicar Code demands I discover what happened to my children in this monastery. I cannot ignore it. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Falera and Rila were either of those one of the Asari mentioned in that little notepad left behind. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Wishra. Ask her to go to the Citadel and tell Wishra I love her. An isolated fortress. The Ardat Yakshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. Well, we can only assume that smuggling that stuff in let somebody know that things were here. And if, if it was Cerberus, well, then of course the Reapers would know as a result. Because that's essentially the same thing. I have no doubts that we will... Um, find some evidence of whatever's going on here with Cerberus also. If it's out there and it's an abomination, Cerberus is going to get their hands on it. 
and try to twist it and use it. Yep, there they are. I, of course, already knew this was coming. I've been through this many a time, but... Oh, no, no. That's not cool. And I can't lock in because... Banshee was in the middle of an animation. Cracking the R's poor neck. <laughs> Go ahead and there you go. There you go. Thank you. Okay, I can hit two, bitch. Get my shield right on back. Now what? Only thing that you don't want to happen is kind of like an atlas. You don't want these bitches to pick you up by your face. Start stroking your hair back like they love you because that's it. That's pretty much insta kill. It can be hard to lock in on enemies sometimes. Make sure that thing's dead. Keep on coming. What is it with Liara? I mean, she's consistent through all three Mass Effects. She is just notorious for asking questions where the answer is obvious and then stating the obvious. For a genius, for a highly intelligent doctor, professor, um, well, how, how can I put this? It can be a little dingy at times, <laughs> just to put it mildly. What have the Reapers done? What the hell do you think they've done? <laughs> Just look. It's not that hard. Mother, you came as soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother. Been... They have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into. into those. monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. There's a bomb in the Great Hall. We're setting it off, so find your sister quickly. A bomb? But I thought you came to rescue us. I'm here because this place is a liability. A liability? My friends have been killed. Not by me. Turned into... Faler, we did not come to argue. No, you came to destroy us. Faler! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Look for that bomb. I doubt we'll miss it. Okay. Well, if this has just become yet another den or nest for Reaper troops, overpowered Reaper troops at that, then, yeah, it's got to go. All the people that die because we show some mercy and compassion on something that warrants none here, no, that's not going to do anyone any good. Jethro, this is Ghislaine. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these 
for rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Cynthia later tonight to inquire what sent the Asari to war. Go in peace. Wonder how many of these matriarchs and priestesses or instructors or whatever they call them here were turned into these things. Shotgun, I believe. If I recall, that's kind of like a shotgun version of that special pistol that we got from Kirahi back on Sarkesh. New girl put in a holding chamber. The Jester car brought her to us. Said she had trouble convincing the prisoner. Coming to the monastery was necessary. Hmm. Proving everyone but Yana. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Well, any one of those things, or all of those things, could have been a cause for this place being in the spotlight and attracting the Reaper's attention. Doesn't matter. It's been done now. Well, this looks like a shooting gallery, if you ask me. Come on with it. How'd that feel, bitch? Lock on something, please. Thank you. It's one of those times where the animation gets to carry you carry through. And whether you're dodging or doing the right thing doesn't matter. The game's already committed to giving you damage that you just gonna take freely and too bad if you don't like it. Things have pissed me off now. Oh, they were surrounded too. Take that. Nasty ass. Kill it. <laughs> They're freezing this one cannibal over here. Okay. Oh, I'd love to shatter him. Oh, that'll work. Stay down. Yeah, that was actually kind of close there a couple times. Yeah, if you're in the middle of a Nova and you're getting shot from behind, a lot of times those bullets are just going to do You can dodge and do whatever you want. Sometimes you're just going to take the full blast of that. If you play this build, the few times you die will probably be because of specifically that. One good reason to keep the double Nova so that when you use your first Nova you still have a little shield left over in times like that. Sometimes it, it comes in handy. If you're left with a bare health bar, a lot of times they can just pretty much wipe you out with one full one full clip from their little handguns or whatever that's they're using there. Marauders are even worse. 
It'll take you down fast. Assuming the Great Hall means another day boss battle. Know. The Asari should have rid themselves of the Adat Yokshi. By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition. <laughs> You're wrong, Yara. Actually, getting rid of monsters can save innocent people who don't deserve to die. Monsters, on the other hand, do. <laughs> Based on their actions, you know? I mean, if nothing else. Just saying. What are we going, like, way underground? So perhaps this place was built like this specifically in case of a situation like this or something? Kind of wonder. We found our bomb. And Falaire. Reload. Reload, wake up. All right, let me run around here and see if there's anything to pick up first. There we go. I will take it. I'll take that too. turn into that, that mental thing like you see Asari use when they're about to join minds with you or whatever. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Knew that was coming. Later. First things first. Nice. Charger up, please. Thank you. Beautiful. We got one. Please don't pick me up on my face and show me how much you love me. <laughs> Please don't. Nice, nice shot. Work, please. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, that was clean. Let's get back to that bomb. That's how it's supposed to go right there. Punch a banshee in the face to death. Love you. 
Smart, your daughter was as brave as you are. There wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I meant it when I said the galaxy needs you against the Reapers. You were right. It's past time I joined your battle. I'll fight in your armies, Shepard, once I speak with Valer. I'll be waiting. Not for long. Thank you, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Commander, I'm pleased to hear the Ardot Yakshi situation has been put to rest. Should I guess you're our contact inside Asari High Command, Counselor? I'm merely here to convey the gratitude of the Asari people for concluding a difficult, sensitive mission. The next team of commandos we were sending to the monastery are now en route to Admiral Hackett instead. Farewell, Commander. Well, I'm glad to have your commandos, but if a group of commandos can't handle a couple Reapers, I don't know what they're going to do against the entire army of Reapers. But hey, all hands on deck, right? No, just one small group of commandos. Where's the rest of the Asari support? Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Again? Alright. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. 
I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline Subject Zero is sorry. But it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. Okay. That makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. <laughs> so, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Yeah, in Mass Effect 2 we leave. Chuck was passed out on one of the medical tables. He doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, <laughs> just like us. The ship was... The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Awesome. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Ms. Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Need anything, Commander? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander? Lots of emails. Meet Miranda again on the Citadel, I guess. Smars headed for the front lines. Guess that's the Asari squad that we got. We're helping them out on their monastery. And meet Javik on the Citadel. I think he mentioned that he had never actually gotten to see the Citadel. 
He was born while the war was already, uh, after the war had already started with the Reapers in the last cycle. Alright. Well, next, I think we'll go see what Cerberus is up to. Again. Of course. Finally dealt with some Reapers, now it's time to get back to Cerberus. Same thing. If you want to subscribe, you can click that button up top if you haven't already. If you want to catch any of these playthroughs, you can click those boxes there. Should take you to any of those playlists. Alright, appreciate you hanging out. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.